your comments will be limited to five minutes. The Board of Trustees may not respond to your comments during this meeting. Rather, they may take your comments as suggestions or advisement, and your questions will be directed to the appropriate person or department to follow up. Personal attacks against board members and administrative staff or employees will not be recognized. So at this time, I would open up public comment if anybody has anything that may not be on tonight's agenda. Thank you, Mayor and Trustees and Directors. My name is Jessica Joy, and my residence is a very awesome car out there in the parking lot. I'm a high school graduate from Cedar Edge, Colorado. After a random rape, I spiraled into the pornography industry. I chose to heal out of sex trafficking recovery, and now I carry legislation in 36 states to protect children from pornography. I'm here tonight to kindly request the consideration of the 9-11 resolution, declaring that Black Lives Matter Incorporated is a terrorist organization, and secondly, the expiration of the Constitution Restoration Ordinance, where the town, no, where the town considers no longer enforcing, endorsing, and funding all that is not natural, neutral, nor least to human flourishing. Let's reimagine a sanctuary city for those who still believe in the Constitution. The FBI defines terrorism as the unlawful use of force and violence against persons and properties to intimidate or coerce a government, the civilian population, or a segment thereof, in furtherance of a political or social objectives. If over 1,500 locations have burned to the ground for political and social objectives, would we not agree that this defines a terrorist organization? If, uh, as insured damages now reach $2 billion, one party implicitly defines this terrorism with silence, the other party defines terrorism using the late John Lewis's words, and they call it kid trouble. A former FBI agent tried to warn America of this big trouble by writing 45 points of communism that was read before Congress in 1963. Is it called good trouble for city councils to defund the police? That's point 38. Is it called good trouble for city councils to allow the collapse of local businesses and take over big business? That's point 37. Is it called good trouble for city councils to ban the full gospel using incrementalization? And that passed in 81 towns. That was point 27. Is it called good trouble for city councils to endorse registered sex offenders to host obscenity story hour in libraries and endorse obscenity parades, which is sexually based content? Precedent demands stimuli is not protected speech. Is it called good trouble for city councils to idly sit back as the nonconformers fund child castration, sterilization in local clinics? Teachers teach children that child on child rape is perfectly normal. Uh, precedent defines that as child abuse. That's points 24 through 41. Is it called good trouble for local towns and schools to do away with loyalty oaths like the Pledge of Allegiance and the flag? Oh, that's point number 13. Is it called good trouble for local government to take down 84 historical statues, discredit founding fathers as selfish aristocrats, discredit the American Constitution by calling it a hindrance to cooperation between nations for our global citizens? That's points number 29 and 30. On September 11th of 2001, Todd Beamer was just another passenger on Flight 93. After realizing he was just another pawn in destroying the fabric of the United States, he spent an agreement with everyday people just like you. And without any red tape and understanding glances, his battle cry was, let's roll. Thank you. <laughs> 